everyone welcome back to our channel go dynamic it are you using a shared computer at your office and you have some personal data which you don't want to share with anyone then this video is for you i will show you how to seek your folders easily with the help of software called folder lock folder lock help you to lock hide and encrypt the file and folders on your computer so without any further delay let's get into the video okay so as you can see here this is my desktop inside the desktop just type this folder lock so when you type the folder lock it will show you this multiple website here so we'll straightforward jump into filehippo.com and we'll visit here you can see this is the file folder lock 7.9.0 version and we have an official website also if you don't want to download it from the filehippo.com you can go to this website called newsoftware.net and here also we have, you can see this folder log and free download you can buy it if you wish to buy it but let's go with the explore this software and download this free version and let's install it the installation is pretty simple you will go with the english version click on the next agree and uh, let it be installed in the default location okay so it's installed now and let's say launch this software click on the finish and now you can see that uh, this is that uh, oh close that it says that we have to log in with the master key okay so i want to use it later so just i do you want to buy it or enter the key or something no i don't want to use it i'll do it later and here you have to use the master key so try to use the strong key as a master key and click on the okay so now here is the interface of the application so you can see here or you can see at the left hand side you have a folder lock encrypt files protect usb password wallet shred file and clean history okay so first thing first so the, our task is to lock the folder so you can see here on my desktop uh, let me show it to you this is the important files and inside the important file i have excel file then i have a one document file then i have one videos and then i have some important photos as well and this uh, this folder i don't want to share with anyone because um, this is the shared computer right so what i will do is so you can see this add a lock item you can add a file or you can add a folder or you can add a drive so you have a three option also right so let's say if you want to add any um, files here just click on the add files and go to desktop and select let's say um, select this uh, this file pass ended and open it so you can see this is locked now and this is this file is disappeared automatically dis disappeared from the desktop right so this is not our task so let's go and go ahead and remove it and we'll go ahead and add the folder and the similar way you can add the drive also so let's click on the drive since we have only one drive so it's showing the one if you have a multiple drive you can go ahead and add the additional drive also so let's go ahead and add folder here and inside the desktop we have a folder call let's go to our desktop and uh, select this important file click on the ok so you can see here this file is disappeared from here right and uh, let's close this one you can see this file it automatically disappeared from here no way you can find it out some smart people say that let's go to our uh, file and unhide it right so okay if you wish to do that just go ahead and unhide it so how do we do that go to this three dots options and view show hidden files apply okay go to desktop you cannot right you cannot see that even though if you uh, unhide your all the files on your computer right so okay so now let's open it folder log and it will ask for we have to wait here because we are using the trial version click on the later and then we have to log in with your master key enter okay and now let's say if you want to if you don't want to you can hide this folder so you can see the unlock just notice on the on my desktop unlock here and the moment you see the unlock you can see important files is back to your desk right you can see all my photos videos everything is back so this isn't it this important thing for you right <sighs> okay so if you have a multiple you can add the multiple uh, folder file and folders here let's say if you go to uh, this files and then you have to go to desktop where is my desktop select this file okay you can see this file is also locked here so important lock here and this will disappear so you can add a multiple files and folders here and the drives here right and if you want to unlock all the items just select the unlock all items select all protection all protection off this, these are the all options have right so let's protection off let's off the protection right now we have an option for uh, encrypt the file so let's say if you want to encrypt any file so let's say um, encryption you know right i don't have to go into the detail for the encryption so let's say if you want to encrypt this important file so click here and it says that you want to create a locker okay go ahead and create a locker and uh, you want to set the password yes i want to set the password give the confirm password click on the next choose the range so let's say uh, up to 1 gb click on the next and click on the finish so what is does it it will create a locker you can see it's create a z drive here 
here on this computer let me show it to you let me go through like this this pc you can see this is created a 1 gb of the z drive i do not have a z drive on this computer but this created a drive which will keep all your files important files here so let's say i want to encrypt this file important file so just drag and drop it drag it and drop it here so if you want to encrypt the file you have to go to this z drive and drag and drop the folder from here to there into the drive so you can see this is this file is being copied into our secure drive so now this file is secured and if you want you can delete the source file for like for example our desktop and right, let's close it close it okay done so now you have it, this files your important file inside the folder i you know that no one can open this right until unless you have a master key you won't be able to log in here so this is how you can encrypt your file so this size depends on your uh, like we remember that we had an option where we can select the size so you have to go ahead and select the size from from there what is does it it will reduce the size from your c drive like master drive whatever master drive you have right so protect usb again like if you have any usb to protect you can go ahead and do that um this thing you can do it without the software also i have created a video on uh, on this one you can go ahead and watch it in my playlist that you do not need any third party software to protect your usb or any hard drive external hard drive but still if you want to do that you can select an option make an existing locker portable click on the next and then you have to convert into the locker so this is a very simple option you can do this for your cd and media as well as well as uh, your uh, attachment also you can protect password wallets so this wallet is like related things like you have lots of password your email password your gmail password your facebook password lots of passwords you have and if you want to central database of your password you can use this one so let's say um let's say let's create a wallet here click on okay and now you have to create a card here so let's say create a card click like gmail type what type of this this is the uh, okay general purpose so you can add your uh, cards here and you can add your username password whatever you want to add it it will show you show you up here show you up here on this one so let's say like the gmail custom one is username equal to let's say raj and password uh, one two three right so this is how you can go ahead and create uh, your uh, um, wallet and you can see this part for stuff for your uh, right and if you want to delete it just select that and delete that that's it you can delete that and this is the shared files shared means what you know this uh, cutting into the pieces right you shred into this pieces so if you have any file which you scared to share with anyone or you think that somebody can get this files they can misuse it right so what you can do is you can just add this file into this so let's create some file here new text document uh, let's say some password and uh, enter something here save so what it does it like when you have them when you have this password saved on this computer and you're scared that somebody can recover your when if, if, if you format it somebody can recover the data from your uh, hard drive right and all so if you this software claims that if you have this uh, shred enable what is that it, it will share this file into 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 or something 0, 0, 001 this is all your files you know that this is the all 0 and 1 number play right so if you want to if you want to shred this one this will be not recoverable so you can see this action will share all item in this list beyond the recovery you want to share it yes to shred this option so when you let's say open it you can see cannot find the file that's an even if you do the recovery that's a software claim that even though you do the re file recovery you won't be able to find the file even if you find the file you won't be file any data inside that this is about your um, shred and now let's go to the clean history so if you want to clean history of your temporary files or your save directory clipboard data run history and all like a cc cleaner you can go ahead and clean it so it successfully cleaned your file so you have a support option also if you want to take any support you can go ahead and check with uh, i mean take the support from the facebook twitter right and if you have a license you can go ahead and register it yourself and there are there are lots of options here you can go ahead and uh, play with this one right for me um that's it for today's video if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next one